open mic. Yeah, Cameroon, that's what I'm talking about. You know, if the World Cup keeps going this way, little Amara might go to college after all. Welcome to Open Mic. We'd like to start the show with a few stories or a hot take on a story you're not likely to see anywhere else. I'm from gorgeous Prince George's, and now I spill the tea in D.C., so you know these jokes come from a place of love, if in fact that was something I was capable of. You know what? It's Friday. We can all love for at least 60 seconds. Let's start off in Richmond, Virginia, where a high school student named Jack Alexander Cheatham started a charcuterie club at his school, and you know what? It's taken off in popularity. My name is Jack Alexander Cheatham, and welcome to the Charcuterie Club. I always say it's Jack's world, and we all just live in it. T-shirts are missing. If you are good at drawing or just want to make a T-shirt, make one. When Jack pitched the idea to his school counselor, the seat has been added, and the club sponsor, he told her sweet dreams are made of cheese. And I thought it was just going to be like a handful of kids hanging out after school, and it's kind of taken on a life of its own. I was surprised, too. Uh, just a lot of people showed up the first meeting. I did not expect it to be this big. Wow, I see they got the old school gear there still. When I was in college, well, when I was in high school, we were eating like potted meat and Vienna sausages out of the can. And I was at St. Albans. Man, y'all have come up. I wish St. Albans was like this. The only cheese we had on access was the stuff on those square slices of pizza in the cafeteria. You know, the kind of cheese that it doesn't melt and has a little chiclets of pepperoni in it. At least I hope that was pepperoni. Then again, there was always a lot of mice scurrying around, and pepperoni isn't usually brown like that. But Open Mic with Reese Waters will always be a pro charcuterie zone. I would invite the club to the studio to make some charcuterie boards for us, but, you know, I think that counts as child labor. But Jack is probably the most popular kid in school now. If he had any bullies, that couldn't have lasted long. Like, hey, before you take my lunch money, why don't you try this camembert? Oh, my God. This is a revelation. Let me join. What time is the next meeting? I do want to congratulate Jack on the success of the club, your classmates, and I'm sure their appetites appreciate you. Let's head to Montgomery County for this next story, where recreation fitness passes will be free for county residents in 2023. Montgomery County, y'all on notice. You have no excuse not to meet those New Year's resolutions. I'm telling you, by the end of 2023, MoCo is going to be ripped. For non-residents, by the way, age 16 and up, access for one month costs $20. And it's $80 for six months of access, or you can pay $150 and access fitness centers in Montgomery County for a whole year. That's right, a buck 50 and you're good for the year. Compared to gyms in DC, that is a steal. One month of Washington Sports Club costs about the same as six months in Montgomery County Recreation Center access. You know what? I'll leave the state to work out for those prices. You know what? I'll be a gym carpet bagger, or more accurately, I'll be seeking financial asylum from DC gym prices. But thank you for this early Christmas gift, Montgomery County. And by the way, to everybody with an overpriced gym membership, we now have leverage in negotiations once that contract ends. Don't be afraid to walk away and join your money saving friends in Maryland. I chose this next story from London because it's just fascinating. A new study by British furniture company Sophology shows that the average couch has been a part of 311 arguments, 316 drink spills, and 286 episodes of makeup uh -uh, relations. Now, who keeps count of these things? Like, were these estimates or are folks keeping a run and tally of everything that happens on their couches? 311 arguments and 286 episodes of Making up? I don't know. It's either time for some counseling. Either this or that's y'all's thing. Y'all need to go on and see other people. If this is how they get down in the UK, then I know when I go, I'm never sitting on anybody's couch. These numbers, by the way, are based on an eight-year average period, which still seems like a lot of arguing and making up. All that tells me is that the UK is just as toxic as America, maybe even more. I mean, the next prime minister for y'all is going to be future. City boys, I think most couches aren't seeing this much action or arguing. That is my personal thought. But the unstable couples are just driving up the average. Now, everybody's home looks turbulent. But whatever the case, the survey findings are hilarious, so I had to share them with you. Let's head to Berlin. We're going to stay in Europe for this last story. Where a 72-year-old woman 
was arrested on suspicion of attempted manslaughter after she allegedly turned off a hospital roommate's ventilator twice because she didn't like the sound it made. <clears throat> she took Petty to a whole new level, almost to homicidal levels. Like, how tired do you have to be to think, you know what? Ah, I can't sleep. She's got to go. And then act on it. This woman tried to send a 79-year-old to the pearly gates, to the up. Room. all because the ventilator sound bothered her. That makes her a Hall of Fame Karen. She's willing to kill simply for comfort. And you know what? If she gets convicted, I hope her cellmate doesn't snore because Das Karen is going to smother her with a pillow just for peace and quiet. Now, thankfully, the woman on the ventilator didn't die, although she did have to be revived after her machine was cut off twice. That's how close this lady was to killing her, all because she didn't like the sound it made. Now, I understand being annoyed, but I've never been put this fool in the dirt annoyed. This woman is a menace. They need to put her in one of those Hannibal Lecter masks because nobody is safe. She will literally off your on switch. Now, my favorite story today, well, let me think. Charcuterie Club makes me hungry, but Montgomery County gym membership saved me money which I can use to buy cheese. We're all winners here.